Hi, I'm Karmi Shamas. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, Tuesday, the 2nd of January. Today the moon is in Virgo for the second consecutive day. This is a beautiful day if you're an Earth sign, meaning if you're uh, a Virgo, if you're uh, Capricorn, if you're a Taurus. How is it going to be for all signs? Starting with Aries. Aries, this is a long day. It's a bit busy, uh, sometimes a little bit uh, demanding, but I think you can be quite fine and you can be very efficient. Take it easy. Don't over will whelm yourself with tasks. Taurus, it's one of those beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous days. Um, January actually is one beautiful uh, month. And uh, I think you can be super uh, elegant, super successful, super achiever. And this is your uh, lucky day. Go ahead and amaze us. Gemini, it is a busy day. It is a bit uh, exhausting. Uh, maybe you feel a little bit uh, worried about something. Maybe you're a little bit too hasty, rushing around. Take it easy. Take a deep breath. Everything will be fine. Uh, especially knowing that Wednesday is going to be great. Cancer, of course, it's a long, busy day. You have great impulse. You have great uh, reflexes. You have great energy. The moon in Virgo is very um, uh, inspiring and it's uh, very impulsing, pushing you to do more and very empowering. So you can be great. Just uh, watch what you say and what you do. Leo, with the moon in the second house of money, definitely you can be successful, definitely you can be an achiever, definitely you can do a lot. Just mind your uh, expenses and you will be quite, quite fine. Uh, try to be as humble as possible and try to be as helpful as possible. Try to start the year with great steps. Uh, Virgo with the moon in your sign, there's nobody, nobody that can out, uh, out shine you, out win you, uh, out anything. This is a beautiful, gorgeous day. You can make up your mind on beautiful things and beautiful things are coming your way. But because planet Saturn is opposing your sign, you really need to follow my, uh, my forecasts because, um, Planet Saturn actually may um, exhaust your uh, your your energy uh, very fast. Uh, this month, for example, uh, can be exhausting if you were born in the month of August and may uh, not help be help be helpful at all. Uh, so you have to be very careful. Don't risk it. Uh, on the other side, as a day, it can be a one beautiful, gorgeous day with great news. Moving to Libra, it's a slow day. It's one of those uh, uh, exhausting days. It's not an easy day. It can be very disappointing. Be extra careful. I name this day, I point this day as one of the least lucky. So be extra careful, double check on everything. Uh, Scorpio, it's very active, it's very fast, it's brilliant, it's beautiful, it's very helpful. And I think you can be a star within your community. You can be very charismatic. Anything you do is super, super uh, attractive and attracts great, um, uh, great cheers and uploads. Well, it depends what you want to do. Uh, of course, uh, Venus left your sign, but maybe, maybe if you were born on the 22nd of November, maybe you can still be lucky. Uh, let's move now to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, it's a busy day, I know. It's also exhausting. Mars is still in your sign, so you still need to be careful. Luckily, Venus has entered your sign and uh, uh, last week, and you can be very lucky, actually, especially if you were born uh, on the 23rd, 24th, 25th of November. Let's, uh, but planet Mars says, be careful if you were born on the 19th, 20th of December. Let's move now to uh, Capricorn. Capricorn, what a beautiful, gorgeous day. Super beautiful, super, super lucky. One of those super beautiful days that you can actually, I pinpointed it as one of the luckiest days. Definitely with uh, Taurus, with um, Uranus and uh, Jupiter in Taurus. Definitely it's a grand trine and you're one of those lucky days. Uh, one of those lucky, uh, one, you are one of those lucky signs and things will come to you like uh, maybe on a silver platter, maybe. Uh, let's move now to Aquarius. You have to work for everything. It's not an easy time, I know. Uh, the sun in Capricorn cannot be helpful, so you have to do things yourself. You have to be patient. Wednesday is easier. Wednesday is more helpful, but today can be a little bit um, 
may be exhausting. In all cases, it's not a negative day. Just follow up and make sure that you do things the right way and easily, okay? Don't complicate your day. Let's move now to Pisces. So the moon opposes your sign. It can be a bit tough on you, on your nerves. Take it easy a big smile on your face uh, be nice to others although they're not that nice to you it doesn't matter tomorrow Wednesday will be easier and you'll feel happier and you may feel a little bit guilty if you said something um, something uh, not kind today so in all cases be kind be kind to all kinds so I think every day uh, is a beautiful day for you you're strong you're beautiful you love everything you love people they don't love you they don't love anyone actually so so Pisces, never mind anyone. Mind your own business. Be happy. Be happy. Be happy no matter what. And try to enjoy this beautiful day. Uh, stay away from trouble if you were born on 21st, 22nd, 23rd of February. Let's uh, wrap it up with born on the 2nd. I talked about uh, born on the 1st in my... Um, last video okay the last day so let's uh, wrap it up with one on the 2nd of january this should be a beautiful year very inspiring very helpful very powerful and this year can promise you a lot of success abroad you may travel you may relocate you may actually um, be adventurous and launch uh, something very important a book or maybe a paper or something it's a beautiful beautiful year no matter how old you are or what you do so basically this is it we you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.